Carolina. Welcome to this Pilates class. For the class of today, you're going to need a pair of dumbbells, so make sure you have something that you can substitute in case you don't have some at home. You can use water bottles or any other type of prop that comes into your creative mind. So let's come to a sitting position. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you, just lift your pelvis up by sitting on a cushion, by rolling a towel and placing it under your hips. And we're going to start by placing the hands on the side of your ribs. Spread your fingers as much as you can so that you can really embrace the rib cage. Take a moment to roll the shoulders one time back. And once you're here, take a moment and close your eyes. Start to feel the in and outflow of your breath. Start to make a deep inhale through your nose. And a deep exhale through your mouth. Deep breath in into your nose. And deep breath into your mouth. In Pilatus, we would like to slightly emphasize the exhalation. So every time you exhale, try to make it a little bit deeper. The reason is because we want to engage the core. A little bit more intense than your daily life. So breath in into your side of your ribs. And a deep exhalation. And we start to pull the navel slightly into the back and a little bit up into your heart. When breathing in, try to keep engaged and expand your ribs sideways when you inhale. When breathing out, pull the navel tight and keep lengthening your spine from the pelvis till the crown of the head. Three more cycles of breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, keep yourself long, pull the navel tight and up. Breathing in. Deep exhale, squeeze your navel back into your spine, up into your heart. One more breath in. And deep breath out, squeezing your navel, keep the length of the spine. And remember, the breath is where we are going to always focus every exercise. So gently open your eyes and release your hands back on your laps. Take a moment to roll the shoulders up and then to the back, creating like a big circle, breathing in and breathing out. Every time you exhale, try to feel if you can pull the navel a little bit more to the back. So squeeze it gently when you exhale, breathing in and breathing up, keep rolling the shoulders, inhale, squeezing the navel, exhale, one more last, and exhale. Now reach your hands forward, when breathing in, rising up. In the previous week, we were observing how we keep the shoulder blades back and down, and how we keep the alignment of the ribs. Apply it into this class, squeeze your navel tight, and let's make a circle by pressing into the sides. So breathing in, you reach forward, Exhale, squeeze the navel, shoulders are away from your ears. Breathing in. Exhale, squeezing navel, pressing hands. Let's do one more, breathing in. Exhale, squeeze the navel, keep yourself long. Now let's take the arms one more time up to the ceiling. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. Take your arms like a cactus position. Find a line from your elbow to the other elbow. Take your elbows to touch. Lift the elbows up. Open up like a diamond shape and make a circle. When making this cactus circle, I'm going to show you from the side. You will like to keep your shoulders right above your hips. So don't push your chest forward, neither to the back. Try to stay what we call a neutral spine, where your ear, your shoulder, and your hips remain in one line. If you have any sort of shoulder injury, 
Please do the circle a little bit smaller where it feels right for your body. Let's do one last. And then let's release. Your right arm will rise up right above your head. Root your right sit bone. And in the exhalation, coming to your side stretch. Inhale, stretch deeper. Remember to expand those ribs. Exhale, nice and long. Come back, other side. Breathing in, left arm rises. Exhale, side stretch. Breathing in, make yourself long. Exhale, return. Let's keep moving. Shoulder away from the ear, rooting the pelvis down. Exhale, side stretch. Breathing into hold. Exhale, to come back. And the last one, breathing in. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale to stay. Exhale to come back. Now that the shoulders and the chest is ready, please place your dumbbells aside and come into an all fourth position. Remind yourself that the knees will have to be under your hips and the hands under your shoulders. For some people, we will need to turn the hands slightly outside, so feel what suits for your shoulder the best. Take a moment breathing in. Exhale, squeeze your navel and round the spine as big as you can. Hold and stay. Exhale, come back. Breathing in, stay neutral. Exhale, navel to your spine, round your spine. Inhale, hold the curve. Exhale, back to neutral. Breathing in, neutral position. Exhale, squeeze your navel deeper into the back of the spine, releasing your head down. Inhale, stay. Exhale, back to center. In the next two circles, try to find if you can keep the navel tight. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, stay. Exhale, center. Last one, breathing in. Keep your navel tight, exhale, rounding spine. Inhale to hold, exhale to return. From here, come to a sitting position. We're going to flex the feet, and the feet are the width of your shoulders. Take your hands forward and roll the shoulders one time back. Same movement, in the exhalation, we curl the pelvis. In the inhale, you stay. In the exhale, you come back. Breathing in, lengthening spine. Exhale, we curl the pelvis. Inhale, you hold. Exhale, you return. You decide how low you go. Be mindful about what your body can do. Exhale, rolling down. Inhale, stay. Exhale, return. Breathing in, long spine. Exhale, tuck your pelvis. Inhale, stay. Exhale, center. One more time, breathing in long. Exhale, curl. Inhale, stay. Keep tucking that pelvis. Exhale, center. Now we start to add. Inhale, long. Exhale, curl. One hand to forehead like diamond shape. One hand to forehead. Reach out, reach out, and back to center. Repeating. Exhale, curl the pelvis. Inhale, one hand. The other, exhale, coming up, exhale, rolling down, touch your forehead, open those elbows, the more you open those elbows, the more challenge it will get, and rising up, two more cycles, exhale, circle down, touch your forehead, touch your forehead, reach out, reach out, returning up, Last one, curl the pelvis, squeeze the navel into your spine, touch your forehead, touch your forehead, 
reaching out, reaching out, and back to center. Place your hands on the side of your pelvis and place your feet in butterfly. You decide how far or how close you take your feet towards your hips. Take your arms long, breathing in. Make yourself super long up to the sky and when breathing out, start to take your chin down and vertebra by vertebra, we start to roll down. We are going to release your elbows, the head, the neck, the shoulders. We take a breath in and in the exhalation, squeeze your pelvis as you press down and we roll up. Let's go again. Inhale, we make ourselves long. Right and left side would like to be with even length. Breathing out, curl the pelvis, squeeze your navel, reaching forward. Relax your elbows as you come closer to the floor. Breathing in to stay. Exhale, curl the pelvis, press down into your sit bones and coming up. Third and last. The purpose is to start to create space in the body and to give the spine the opportunity to roll vertebra by vertebra. So chin goes down, reaching forward. Feel the full stretch of the back of your body. Take a breath in. And a deep exhalation to return back into your city. Now, let's continue. Come back to your mat. I am going to be resting on your lower arms. So take it back. Now this is resting. This is where we would like to be. So don't sink into your shoulders. Press on those lower arms and open chest. Tuck your pelvis and take both knees to your chest like an egg shape. You can keep your fists or you can stretch your palms. Once you're here, keep tucking your pelvis and start to bring your legs into a table position. If having the knees above your hips makes like an arch, don't stay there, just pull the knees closer. So, shoulders down, navel in. From here, you're going to stretch the right leg up. You're going to take it down into a 45 degree. You're going to curl the pelvis deeper. You're going to kick up again, and then back into bending. Let's do the other side. Inhale, we stretch. Exhale, 45 or lower, that's your decision. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. We go, breathing in, right side, going down. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Breathing in. Take it down. Lift it up and you bend. Keep moving in this exercise. Keep feeling that your lower arms are pressing down that your chin is away from your chest. And the most special attention, when you take your leg down, remind yourself to keep curling. So that means to keep squeezing your navel into the back of your spine so that the core remains engaged. In Pilates, less is more. So it doesn't matter how low you go, but how engaged you can be in your center. Let's do one more. Round with each leg, up, 45, lift, bend, the last one up, 45, lift, and bend. Finish the sequence, we stretch the legs up, we flex, we point. If this is too intense, keep your knees bent like this, or fully stretch. And you go four, three, feel the length of the back of your leg, two, one, and bend your knees to your chest, and come to a sitting position. Roll the shoulders a few times to relax. And now we're going to grab from the back of your thighs. Roll the shoulders one time back. Curl the pelvis as we have been doing. Then gently one leg into tabletop. And now you take with both hands. Roll the shoulders one time back. Curl the pelvis just a little bit. And come back. It's like a rocking chair. Curl the pelvis, feel the engagement, and returning. If this is too intense and you need a little bit of help, flex your left foot. Hands over coming back. Ideally, 
the distance from your knee to your shoulder shouldn't change. So we go, curl the pelvis, feel that shaking, and go back three more times. Exhale, curl the pelvis, feel the shaking, and come back. And the last one, curl the pelvis, feel the shake. Stay there, three, stay two, stay one, and come back. Hold both thighs, roll the shoulders, tuck your pelvis, C-shape position. Left leg lifts, both hands hold. And we go, curling deeper, coming back. It's a tiny movement, but we are working in the tuck of the pelvis. That is this movement that you're feeling on the bottom. And four more times. Curl and feel the shake. And return. Curl and feel the shake. And return. And two. And the last one we stay and hold. Hold the three. Hold the two. Shoulders relax. Soft eyes, squeeze navel, and we come back. Spread the legs, hold both thighs, shoulders roll down, tuck your pelvis, and roll yourself vertebra by vertebra into the mat. Take your hands on the side of your pelvis and place your feet closer to your hips. Spread the toes and root your heels. Spine is neutral. We're going to take the arms now right above your shoulders. Keep your shoulders resting on the floor. Tuck your pelvis and feel how the lower back now is touching the ground. By pressing your heels, lift the pelvis. Hold and stay for a breath in. Remember to keep the connection of the navel in and the hips coming to your ribs and slowly roll down. Breathing in. Exhale, tuck the pelvis. The lower back touches the floor. Press into your heels and then the action of the pelvis of lifting comes up. Hold and stay. Slowly down. In your next five reps, try to observe if you could really lift the bottom slightly higher so that we make a line from the knees to your shoulders. Inhale, stay. Keep squeezing the navel. Smile as you look to the roof. Exhale. Going down. Last one. Last two, sorry. Curl the pelvis. Press and lift. Hold and stay. Keep engaging. Slowly down. And this is the last one. To curl the pelvis. To press into your heels. And to hold it there. Now, remember the line from knees to shoulders. What you're going to do, you flip the palms so that they are facing up. We're going to bend the elbows like cactus and you're going to stretch up. If possible, touch the ground and reach to the ceiling. Inhale as you bend. Exhale when you stretch. And we go five. We go four. Keep the pelvis up. Keep squeezing your navel. Three. Two, one, hold and stay. Seesaw arms. Go in the line of your leg. And the other one touches the ground behind you. Ideally, both shoulders stay square towards the ceiling. And keep changing arms for eight, four, seven. Keep your pelvis up. And six, and five, and four. And three, and two, and one. Both arms to the ceiling. Roll your chest down, bend your knee back, your lower back, and finally touch with the pelvis the ground. Take one knee at a time to your chest and rock slightly side to side. We're going to repeat this sequence, and this time, if you want to add, you're going to use your dumbbells. So grab each dumbbell with each hand and take it right above. It's very important to keep a line between the hand, your wrist and your lower arm. If you flex your wrist, this creates tension and can hurt your joint. So always remind yourself to keep a straight line. So once you're here, shoulders down, make sure your knees are the distance of your hips. 
Squeeze your navel, uncurl the pelvis. Three times, we just go up and down. Press into your heels, roll the vertebra by vertebra up. Hold and stay. Exhale down. Breathing in neutral. Exhale to tuck your pelvis. Press deep into the heels and rising the hips up. Hold and stay. Navel tighter. Exhale down. In this third, we start with the arm sequence. Curl the pelvis, press into the heels. Lift the pelvis up. Hold and stay. Cactus position. If this is too much for your body, take your pelvis down and just do the arms. Inhale when bending. Exhale, reach. Breathing in. Breathing out. Keep the buttocks up. Eight. Seven. Six. Keep lifting. And five. Four. Three. Two. One, scissor arms, right arm goes back, left arm goes down, and eight, seven, six, mindful about the alignment, four, chest is square with the ceiling, two, one, keep it up, roll the spine, one vertebra at a time. Now, flip the palms and take them to face up, roll the shoulder blades back and down. From here, squeeze your navel in. I'm going to lift my arms so that you can see. Your lower back is pressing down. So don't make space. Squeeze your navel and keep the lower back touching. Oh, where is it? There. So, arms are up, shoulder blades back and down, and then you take them back again next to your hips. Take one leg at a time into your tabletop. Remember to keep your navel very tight. Flex your feet. And now we try to go with the right leg, maybe to touch the floor, maybe a little bit higher. And you come back, breathing in and breathing out. Inhale as you come closer to the floor. Exhale when you take it up. The dumbbells will help you to keep the weight of the arms resting on your mat. It's very important to keep the chest open, to keep the navel tight. So don't worry if your leg doesn't touch the floor. Now we're focusing on keeping the chest completely flat on the ground with the chest open and the navel engaged. Squeeze your navel as you lift the knee back. We're going to do this four more times. Let's go for four. Squeeze your navel. Three. Two. One. Hold and stay. Squeeze the legs together. If this is too intense, please place your feet down. We're going to lift the hands, the arms, five centimeters off the floor. We're going to do our biceps. You're going to bend to touch your shoulders and you're going to stretch. You're going to inhale and you're going to exhale. Breathing in when you come closer, breathing out when you stretch. Keep the legs super together and squeezing your navel tight. We get five, we get four, three, slowly as you stretch your arm. In Pilates, we want to create resistance. So that means when you stretch, you would like to do it super slowly, lengthening the muscle. Let's go stay there. And now place the dumbbells down. Interlace hands behind the head. Keep your legs together and your elbows open. Squeeze your navel tighter and chest lifts. Exhale, lift, slowly one. Exhale as you lift. Inhale, down two. Breath out and in. Exhale, lift. So try to see with your eyes a point of high diagonal in your room so that there is space between the chin and your chest. Let's go five to go. Five, four, Three, two to go, two, hold and stay your chest up, grab one thigh from the back and then the other, roll the shoulders away from the ears and try to go one more vertebra off the floor, hold and stay. If you can stretch your right arm, maybe touching your dumbbell, 
Maybe the other one as well. Roll the shoulders and hold it there. Breathing in. Squeeze your navel and go higher. One. Breathing in. Exhale. Try to peel one more vertebra off the mat. Two. Breathing in. Exhale. Three. Keep reaching and keep squeezing your shoulder blades back and down. Last two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And now we move into single leg stretch. You're going to stretch the right and stretch your left. If this is too much, hands behind your head. And we go 10, 9. You can play by flexing and pointing your feet. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold and stay. Roll the shoulders down. Roll the spine. Grab your thighs or your knees and make yourself rest. We're going to keep working with our arms. So take your feet flat on the floor. From here, lift the pelvis up into your bridge. You were here previously. Squeeze your navel. Now you're going to lift the arms up to the ceiling. From here, we're going to open into a T position. I don't have space, but you have it. And then you close it again. Breathing in as you open, breathing out to close. It doesn't matter again how close you come to the floor, but keep your pelvis lifted and with every exhalation, like a big embrace, you want to return to center. Breathing in open, breathing out center. Inhale open, exhale center. Open the chest, squeeze your navel, look up to the ceiling, keep pressing into your heels and with all those points, Keep enjoying your movement. And let's go for five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Dumbbells back to the ground. Lift the pelvis higher and roll the shoulders one more time. And your spine goes down to the floor. Roll the dumbbells a little bit higher so that you can roll on your right side and come into a seated position. Grab the dumbbells and find again that your shoulders are right above your hips. You're going to take the dumbbells in front of you. I show you from the side. So there is a line, wrist, elbow, shoulder. From here, we're going to go up to the ceiling open into a cross. We're going to go up to the ceiling and back like on top of a table. It's a breath in. It's a breath out to open. It's a breath in to extend. It's a breath out to go back to table. Now all this with your navel engaged. Breathing in, lift. Exhale, open. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back to center. Breathing in, exhale, open, inhale, lift, and back to center. Three more times, breathing in, exhale, open, breathing in, back to center, inhale, up, exhale, T, inhale, reach, exhale, center, last one, breathing in, Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, and rest. Leave the dumbbells aside, stretch your legs to the front of your mat. If this is, doesn't feel right for your knees, you can always bend them. As well, you can sit on top of something. Take your hands, like on top of the table, shoulders down, and reach your spine up. Squeeze your navel in, and in your exhalation, come into your forward bend. You would like to keep lengthening your spine as if your hands are sliding on top of the table. Hold and stay breath in. Exhale, vertebra by vertebra. You roll back into your alignment where your ear, shoulder and hip remains in one line. Let's go. Exhale, chin goes down. Going up and over with your spine. Breathing in as you arrive. Exhale to return. Inhale long. 
Big exhale. Spine stretch forward. Inhale, stay. Exhale, roll. With every repetition, try to make yourself longer. Try to explore in the movement the limits of your body. Breathing in as you stay. Breathing out to come back. And the last one, inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, stay. Exhale, come back. Relax your arms, roll the shoulders a few times. And for your next move, you're going to come into your knees. We call this kneeling position. If this is too intense for your knees, you can place a towel under it. Otherwise, you are going to only do the arms when we are on that part of the sequence. So, come into kneeling position. Now we need to apply a lot to the core. So that means curl the pelvis a lot so that your shoulder and your hips remain in one single line. You're going to take your arms in front of you with your shoulders down. Remember the line of the table, wrist, elbow and shoulder in one straight line. Flip the palms so that they are facing each other and keep tapping your pelvis under. Like a letter Z in the breath in, you're going to hinge to the back like the letter said, squeeze your navel and back to center. It's very important in this movement that your eyes stay looking straight forward. Keep tucking your pelvis and come back. You decide how far you do this movement. Breath in as you go down. Exhale to return, press into those shins. Breathing in, hinge back. Exhale. Only one to go. Breathing in. Breathing out. And take rest. In the second part, we're going to stay in the hinge and we're going to add a sequence of arms. Please observe first and let's let, then let's do it together. So, come into hinge, hands facing each other. You're going to touch your pelvis and you will go to your hinge. And now you do forehead, forehead, stretch, stretch. You're going to perform this three times. Tuck, 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 and then you come back. Let's go together. If you cannot do the hinge, please take your dumbbells and you're going to curl the pelvis and you go. Diamond shape, same thing, what we're doing, but in a sitting position. So all together, hands forward, shoulders down, tuck your pelvis. Lean into your hinge, hold and stand, you go. Forehead, forehead, reach, reach. Forehead, forehead, reach, reach. Forehead, forehead, reach, reach. Back to center and rest. Two more times. Try to reach a little bit more the limits of your body. So come up, hands forward, shoulders now. Hinge and go and let's do. Forehead, forehead, reach, reach. Forehead, forehead, squeeze your glutes. Forehead, forehead, reach, reach, back to center. Relax, take rest. Deep breath, we go one more time. So, coming into your knees, hands like a table, shoulders down, squeeze your navel. Reach back into your hands and we go. Forehead, forehead, reach, reach. Forehead, forehead, reach, reach. Forehead, forehead, reach, reach, back to center, back to rest. Roll the shoulders, roll your head a few times. And let's prepare for the back sequence. Please, place your dumbbells on the front of your mat. Can't to lie down on your belly. And it's very important that you squeeze your navel in so that you're not super relaxed on the floor. Tuck your pelvis and decide if you would like the legs to be together or hip distance apart. Nose will be touching and the shoulders are away from the ears. In the breath in, as your hands would like to reach your feet, you're going to lift your chest up. You're going to hold and stay. And exhale, you go down. 
Keep your shoulder blades coming together on your back. Breathing in, lift up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale down. So we stay a full sequence of breath. Breathing in, lift. Exhale, stay. Inhale, stay. Exhale, down. Two more times. Breathing in. Exhale. Inhale, keep lifting. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, stay. Keep moving your shoulder blades to the center. Breathing in and breathing out. Last one. Breathing in. Exhale, stay. Inhale, stay. Exhale, down. Take your hands to the front on top of the dumbbells. The nose is touching down. Tuck your pelvis and hold there. From here, you're going only to lift the right arm and tap down. It's a small movement. Only five times with your right. Try to keep your shoulders completely square with your mat. Let's go. Lift the right. Take it down. Lift the right. Shoulder strengthening. And three. Four. Five. Change your side. Of course, you can do this without the dumbbells. And we lift. One. Two, three, four, five, and release. Hands will reach your feet. Roll the shoulders again, back and down, and together. Lift the chest up, and now you go. Reach with the right, reach with the left, reach back, reach back, take it down. Let's go all together. So breathing in, lift the chest up. Reach the front, reach the front. Reach your back, reach the back, going down. Throughout the movement, keep your shoulders away from ears. Inhale, lift. Go with your head, go with your left. Reach your toes, reach your toes, and down. Two more cycles, breathing in up. Reach right, reach left, reach toes, reach toes, down to the mat. Last one, breathing in, lifting, and we go right, we go left, we go down, we go down, and release. Hands on the side of your shoulders, legs together. Let's meet in resting pose. Sit on your heels, relax your head, relax your chest. Squeeze your navel in with every exhalation and relax your head, your shoulders, your spine. Now very gently, we're going to come into an all fourth position. In Pilates, the down facing dog, it's called up stretch. You're going to curl the pelvis. We're going to do a variation of it. First, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Take a look. You're going to reach as if you would like to sit on your heels. Then you're going to lift up into your up stretch. Then you're going to lift the heels back again. You're going to sit back on your heels and back to center. Let's do it together. So we go. Pelvis to your heels. Pelvis up to the sky. Back into sitting heels. Back into center. Keep your navel in. Breathing in, move back. Exhale, move up. Sitting on heels, look forward and back to center. Two more cycles of this. Sitting heels, lifting up. Look at your navel. Look into your hands and back into all fours. Then we go. Sitting into your heels. Lifting the pelvis up, look to your navel, look to your hands, and back to center. Now, knees together and toes curled under, shoulder blades back and down. You're going to lift the knees 5 to 10 centimeters off the floor. You're going to hold it, breathing in, 
Squeeze your navel, breathing out. And slowly come back. Two more cycles of this. Breathing in. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, stay. Exhale, down. Last one, breathing in. Exhale, squeeze the navel, long spine, lift the knees. Breathing in, breathing out, and release. Combining all together, legs keep distance apart. Take a look, you're going to sit on your heels. You're going to lift the pelvis up. We're going to come into a plank. You're going to go back, and you're going to come back into hands and knees. If this is too much, this is your version. You're going to go back, you're going to lift the pelvis, you come into that table position, then you move back, and then you come back again. Let's do three cycles all together. So, go into pelvis, lift the pelvis up. Either you do the all fourth position, or you move into your plank. Back again, into your up stretch, and back to all fourth. So, back to your heels. Lift the pelvis up. Move yourself into plank. Keep your navel tight. Back into your down dog, up stretch. And we go back to your mat. Last and third, go into your heels. Lifting up. Come into plank. Squeeze your navel. Back into your up stretch. And back to the center. Relax your wrist for a moment. And for our last part of the sequence, we would like to hold the plank with full awareness, with full engagement of your core. If this is too much for you, two options that you have. Do you do your all fourth, or you can do the same on your elbow plank. The most important point of this exercise is to keep full alignment of ear, shoulder, pelvis, and the engagement of your navel. Let's go together. Place your hands under your shoulders, shoulder blades back and down. If you decide into elbow plank, go to your elbows. If you decide to go full plank, push back into that right heel, squeeze your navel in and stretch the other leg. Roll the shoulders away, squeeze your navel in and stay here, breathing in and squeeze your navel tighter into the back of the spine. Look in between your hands, breathing in. Exhale. Squeeze your navel tighter. Find the line and engage your abdominals deeper. One more breath. Breath out. And relax. Take a moment to find a comfortable seat. We're going to find again the sole of the feet together with the shoulders down and the length of the spine. Take a moment to find that alignment where your ears, your shoulders and your pelvis are in one same line. We're going to place the hands on the side of your hips by pressing into your fingertips, try to make yourself long. The right arm will rise above the head. And in the exhalation, like we previously did, we're going to go into your side stretch. You're going to look up to your elbow, press into that left hand to squeeze more of the pelvis into the floor. And now we're going to do circles. You're going to reach the sky, then the hips. You make circles in front of you to stretch the shoulder and the chest because today we have been working a lot of in that area. Deep breath to open and deep breath out to relax. When your arm is up, we're going to return. The right arm crosses in front of your chest and with your left hand, you push it towards you. The target area of stretch now is the side of your shoulder. Keep yourself long, breathing in, deep breath out. We start to release our Pilates breath. So coming back into that belly breathing. One more. The right arm opens back into T position. You take it up to the ceiling and you would like to touch the center of your in between your shoulder blades. So one option is to keep yourself right here. 
If you would like to go more, take your other arm to the side, flip the palm down, and try to walk your fingers until you can grab between your shoulder blades. Hold and stay. I come back to you. Can be intense, so choose something that really suits you. And release by rolling the shoulders. Let's do the other side. Left arm rises above head. In the exhalation, take your side stretch. Push into your hand so that you can root the pelvis deeper. And then when we are ready, we start our circles to stretch. Reaching up, reaching the window, reaching the ground. Inhaling when we open and exhaling when we go in that direction of the floor. One more. Then when you are up, you come back. The left arm crosses over chest. The other arm grabs from underneath and presses in. Keep yourself long with the pelvis rooted and the crown of the head reaching up to the sky. Deep breath, feeling the stretch in the side of your shoulder. Last part of the stretch, take your arm to the side, up, and reach in between your shoulder blades. Maybe this is already enough. If you want to go more, left hand goes, right hand goes out, flip it, walk your hands, and stretch your triceps. A big breath in, and a big breath out. Inhale. Feel your body. Feel your breath and stay with those sensations so that we quiet the mind. Now gently release. Roll the shoulders a few times. And close your legs for one more moment of being here. Take one hand into your lower belly one hand into your lower back and remember in daily life we want to gently engage the core for our daily activities so just feel how the belly expands and in the exhalation give you a little bit of gentle lift always come back to your breath come back to your center and pilates used to call it the powerhouse if we engage the core properly, the spine will be aligned. And then your whole body will function the best way it can in every move. We would like to create harmony and balance in the use of the muscles. So releasing your hands, gently open your eyes, Thanks a lot for joining this class. Today, we worked a lot the upper body. Hope you enjoy it. Please let me know if you have questions, comments, or anything that I can help out. Hope to see you soon in your next class. Have a beautiful day. Today in Amsterdam, it's amazing. So enjoy the sun and enjoy your body.